everyone, so a lot of my friends have been asking me to do this video, and I figure it's just June, like, why not? So, basically, they want me to do a coming out video, which is basically me telling you a story of how I came out with my sexuality. So, my sexuality I'm, is I'm bisexual. Like, I consider myself to be bisexual, which means that I am attracted to both men and women. I am both sexually and romantically attracted to both men and women. And how that came out, how that came to be is actually like it, it's weird to even talk about because like when you cause like when it happens you just like it's like your speeches you're like okay like it's weird I think for me personally started out when I was eight or nine years old where I like first discovered that okay something like so, something's weird like I started looking at guys really differently and I was I was actually weirded out by it at first. Because, remember, my friend Gary, he would always sit in this weird position in, like, in lunch. And I don't know why, but I just, like, I just couldn't stop staring at him. It was weird. I was like, why am I, like, why am I staring at him? Like, why do I feel this way? Like, what? Like, ex like what, what, what body? What are you doing? Like, what? Excuse me, brain? Are you are you okay in that brain? And I, I thought it was weird, and I didn't know what was going on. I first thought that, you know, because he's my friend, like, okay, you know, I want to hang around him because he's my friend, you know. I want to stare at him weirdly because he's my friend. For, at first, I thought it was that. But it wasn't until 8th grade where I, like, it was clear that I start liking, like, a few guys in my class the same way I like this girl, Amanda. Because Amanda was, like, my first, like, cr Amanda was, like, my first crush, actually. She'd been, she, I'd known her since I was in, I think, first grade. I think I'd known her since first grade. I'd known her all the way up until 8th. Cause we can, we can basically, yeah, I know all the way to Yeah, I was, I was, it's really confusing cause I remember there was Amanda and there's another girl called Gogandeep, I think her name was, Gogandeep, and I don't, I can't, I, I think I always mix those two up cause I always, I kind of like those two at the same time, but I was like, wait a minute, one of them I stopped liking after 7th grade, and one of them I stopped left liking after 8th grade, so I'm just like, wait, which one is it? So basically it was, I liked, like, some of the guys in my class, the same way I had about, you know, Amanda and Gangadi, which was, I, which me, to me was weird. To me, I was like, wait a minute, I just can't be right, you know, I'm liking guys the same way I'm liking girls, this, this, this can't be right, this is weird. And I basically started looking online about all these, like, like, I went on Google, I was like, is it weird to like a guy the same way I like girls? And, like, I started, like, Google searching all this stuff, and I came up across the term gay. And I, at first I thought I was gay. At first I thought I was gay, because I was like, okay, you know, clearly I'm liking guys. This, you know, at first, like, I was scared to be gay. I was scared to think of myself as being gay, because I, when I looked up online, I saw all these stories about all these horrific things happening, and how, like, all these things were happening to these gay people. And at first, I, that scared me a little bit. That honestly scared me. So I was like, okay, you know, I should... You know, not talk about this. I should just press it. Like, I should not at all tell anybody about these feelings. And when I got into ninth grade, then, like, you know, I started meeting new people. I started getting, like, I started liking a lot more guys than girls. Like, I had about, like, only, like, one girl I liked in ninth grade. Five of them were guys. <laughs> like, I liked five guys and one girl. And that was, like, to me, I was like, okay, you know, this is weird. Like, okay, I might be gay, but then... I still like girls. That, I can, that, that actually confused because, like, for the longest time, I didn't know what I was. I was, like, constantly asking myself all these questions. I was like, okay, I like guys, but I also like girls. Is, is that possible? I, I thought it was weird. So then, at first, I didn't know what to do about these feelings. So what I did was I went online. I went to all these, like, different, like, chat websites. I created a fake profile, and I became, and basically, on that profile, I became what I felt inside. Like, and, like, in school, I didn't tell any of the guys that, you know, I liked them. I didn't show it. I didn't, like, you know, I didn't, like, I basically gave no hints that I was interested in guys. I always, like, I tried my best to be super masculine, to be, like, super, like, super guy, like, oh, yeah, girls, oh, yeah, girls are cool. I love girls, all that. But when I went online and I won this profile, I basically let out my inner feelings and I basically expressed, you know, how I was inside. I remember, I think, the my old profile name, I think it was, I forgot what it was, but I think it was the name of my very first uh, best friend slash guy crush, which was Hector, I think. I think. I hope he's not watching this. <laughs> Can we watch this? He'd be like, what the fuck? You like me? What? But, like, yeah, I won this online. 
And I'm not gonna lie, some of it was bad. Because, like, some people there were kind of, like, on the kind of bad side. Because they kind of, like, you know, were, like, super overly sexual. I was like, okay, I don't really, I just, like, you know, want to talk about my feelings. I don't really want to send news or do any of this. I just want to talk about my feelings and all that. It was weird. Some people there were actually kind. Some some people there were nice. And they, they explained to me, they were like, hey, you know, I understand what you're going through. And you might be bisexual. I was like... What's that? <laughs> I'm like, what's that? And, and they said, oh, look it up. Oh, bisexual means you like guys and girls. Oh, you know, look, discover it for yourself. So I looked it up, and I was like, okay, I I, I don't know. Because, like, at first, I honestly didn't know. Because, like, okay, I'm a bisexual. But a lot of people are saying, that told me at the time, that bisexual bisexuality wasn't real. They were saying that you could be either straight or gay. You, you can't be both. And at first, I was like, I like girls, but I like guys. Am I straight? Or am I gay? And that was really confusing to me. And I was scared to tell anybody. I was scared to tell my parents because I heard all these stories of kids being kicked out of the house, kids being disowned because they came out, uh, like, not straight. And I was terrified to death of that happening. I didn't, like... I, I was scared. I was like, holy shit. I don't want to tell my dad I like guys and him freaking out on me. But the how, like... I'm, I'm open about it now, but how I came about being open about it, my dad... Like, how I told my parents about it, it was, it didn't really go as well as I expected it to go. Like, a lot of things happened that I wish I could change. My dad sort of had a clue, because while discovering, while still looking up, like, you know, what gay was, you know, what stuff like that, I, like, started discovering, like, like I wanted to know what gay sex was like. Because I knew what sex was. Like, I know what, like, sex between a man and a boy and a girl was. You know, I know what sex was like, you know. But, like, when I started having these feelings about guys, I was like, okay, how can two guys have sex? Like, what is that? So I started, like, looking it up. I was like, oh. Oh, gay, yeah, that's, mm, that's something. Okay. So basically, what happened one day is that I must have, like, forgot I had it on my computer. I forgot, like, to close the tab. And my dad found out. And that was the most weirdest shit I had ever, like, experienced. Because it was weird. He called me up to my room and he gave me that straight, like, shocked, like, like face, like, son. He like, he like, son, are you gay? I'm like, what? What? No. What? So basically, he shut, he turned on the monitor of my computer, and there was a page of, like, of just, just gay porn, just, like, on my computer. I was like, at first, I was like, oh, fuck, oh, shit. So basically, I was like, oh, you know, I must have been hacked. I was, first, I acted all disgusted. Like, oh, that's gross. Oh, no, turn that off. Oh. And basically, he said, what is this? I was like, oh, I must have been hacked. You know, my friends always play these hacking games. Like, you know, he must have hacked and put it on my computer. And he was like, he basically was like, oh, but there's a firewall on the internet. I was like, oh, you know, they get around it. You know, no, you, can't get, you know, can't break down walls. Just go around it. They probably hacked into it. So I think my dad bought that a little bit. I think my dad was like, okay. Like, at first, like, he was like, what? And then, like, he, he just kind of caved away. But I think the day where he knew, like, like profoundly that I was bisexual. Because like, we kept going back and forth. He kept saying, you know, he kept asking if I was gay. He kept asking him this. I was like, no, I'm not gay. No, I'm straight. No, I like girls, you know. I even had a fake girlfriend for a time. I actually had a fake girlfriend for a time. Called, I think her name was Clarissa. Where, like, if anyone ever asked, I would always say, like, yeah, she's my girlfriend. Yeah, you know, we're, we're going out. Yeah, she, yeah. But don't, don't talk, don't tell her about it. Just, just, just take my word, take my word on it. Don't, don't ask her, don't tell her. Just take my word. She's my girlfriend. We're, we're, I'm straight. And I think the day where, like, he knew, like, without a doubt that I wasn't straight was the day where I got in trouble for kissing a guy. It was, I think, fifth period um, after gym, like, when everyone was, like, you know, out of the locker room and all that, me and my friend, I think, I forgot his name, I think it was, I think it was Christopher, I think it was Christopher, I totally forgot his name, I think it was Christopher, he was also bi-curious, and basically, we, you know, talked about before, like, during gym, we talked about it, and then, we decided to, like, okay, you know, to give it a try, we start, you know, he, we wanted to make, like, you know, to kiss, to like, just to like see like what it felt like, you know. I never kissed a guy. He never kissed a guy. You know, we want to know like you know what's 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 wrong with us, what's happening to us. We want to like discover this, and we thought, okay, maybe if we kiss, maybe like you know, maybe like we can feel a certain way or like find some answers. So when everyone's out of the locker room, we decide to just you know, go at it. <laughs> we start just 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 kiss and all that. 
And I don't know what, because like, I had no idea how long we were doing it. I, it felt like a very long, for me, it felt like a very long time. Because nobody was supposed to be in the locker room for another 30 minutes. And we, we did it for a long time. But apparently, somebody, you know, was recording us. I didn't know. Somebody, like, you know, had their phone out and they are recording it. And they start, you know, showing it to everyone, like, oh, my gosh, they're gay. Oh, my gosh, they're, they're, they're kissing in the locker room. Oh, my gosh. And then they start spreading, like, all these rumors that, you know, I was gay. You know, I was, like, doing all these things. You know, I jerk off to all these weird stuff. And the dean called my dad in. And I remember we were all in that weird, like, like dean room, that weird conference room. My dad first initially thought I got into another fight. My dad thought that I got into a fight, and they're calling me in to talk about the fight and, like, basically give me suspension or detention or something like that. And basically, that was my, my first dad thought. So he sat down, and then my then the dean basically told my dad that, you know, there are rumors going around about me, you know, all stuff. There's a video of me, you know, doing something that, you know, that's been helped, that's been spreading all these rumors. And when my dad, like, heard the video, he first thought... It was a video of me fighting. And then my dad said, like, oh, you know, oh, you know, who look like, who did he fight? You know, like, is everything okay? And the principal was like, no, 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 he didn't go to fight. No, your son's okay. You know, your son didn't get into a fight. But then my dad then thought I did something stupid. My dad my dad thought that, you know, I probably did something like crazy, like I threw a chair out the window. Or, like, I started skateboarding around. Or, like, I started doing all this stuff. My dad thought I was doing something incredibly stupid. And my dad was like, what do you do? Like, oh, like, you know, what do you break? You know, what do you, like, what do you do? And my dad was like, no, he didn't break anything. He was not in trouble. He just, he just wanted to talk to you about this. You know, it's okay. My dad was really confused. And he pretty much said that there was a video of him making out with another student. And that's spreading a lot of rumors. Now, at the time, my dad thought I was straight. So he was like, at first, he was like a little bit proud that, you know, like I was making it, that he thought I'd make out with a girl. He was a little bit proud, but then, like, he was like, oh, you should, you know, you should have done that, you know, in school, you know. He was like, he was like, oh, you know, my, he was like, oh, you know, is it Clarissa? Oh, you know, he told me he has a girlfriend. And my, he, and my principal was like, no, no, not Clarissa. Clarissa wasn't, you no, know, anywhere near it. And he was like, oh, and then he thought, like, you know, my dad was like, oh, he kissing more than one girl. Oh, oh, that's my boy. He was like, and he was like, so, who, like, who is she, you know, is she okay? You know, did Dan do anything unwanted? And uh, he was like, what's her name? And my principal, oh, my gosh, like, it was that, like, what my principal said next sunk my heart to the bottom of my soul and body. He said, um... Mr. Uh, Mr. Daniel's dad, um, it wasn't, it's, it's actually a he. It, was, it wasn't a her, it was a he, and his, his name is Christopher. And my dad was like, it's like, legit, my dad's, like, smile turned into the most deepest frown. He was like, what? He was like, yeah, you know, your son was making out with a male student in the locker room. And my dad was like, no, no, that's, now he's like, nah, that's nah, nah that's just a rumor. Nah, he, nah, he, my, my son's straight now. So basically, my prince, my, the dean was like, she showed him the video of me kissing a guy, and I was like, why the fuck would you do that? Oh my fucking gosh, why? And my, and like, my dad saw the video, and he was in complete shock. He was like, I shit you not, that was the most awkward. Oh, oh hair in my mouth. Ugh. That was the most awkwardest most quiet car ride home. I shit you not. All these thoughts were going into my body. Cause like the all the entire drive home from my school to my house, he was complete. He had this shock face on. He was completely silent, and I was too afraid to say anything. I was like, I just sat in the back, like, like all like, all these scenarios are playing inside my head. I was like, oh shit, he's gonna kick me out. Oh shit, is he gonna like you know disown me? You know, what's he gonna say to me when I get home? What's my mom gonna think? Oh my gosh, like oh my god. So basically, when I got home, he didn't say a word to me. He just like sat down on the couch, and didn't say a word. I tried to talk to him. He was like, no. He like the, I was like, dad, you like go upstairs, go go to your room. I was like, dad, can we talk? Like, no, go to your room. Go, go, just go upstairs. I'll talk to you later. Go to your room. And he was shocked. And basically, like, I was so scared. Cause I was like, oh, fuck, like, no. I started to cry a little bit because I thought my entire life was over. I was like, oh, shit, you know. I started thinking about all these ways to basically convince him that I was straight again. Because I didn't want anything bad to happen to me. And when he came to my room, 
he basically, you know, he basically, he was, like, talking to me, like, how can you be gay, you know, why did you do this, and basically, I felt so scared, because he asked me all these questions, like, how can you be gay, how can you like this, you know, like, I thought you were straight, I thought you liked girls, you know, you told me all these stories, like, how you like girls, and basically, I was like, I, I couldn't stop crying, because I was like, I, I'm not gay, he was like, bullshit, bullshit, you are gay, you know, I saw you kissing a guy, you were kissing another guy, there's a video of it, bullshit, you're gay, I'm like, I, I like guys, but I also like girls, but he was like, that's not, that's not a thing, you know, you can't like guys and like girls, you, you, you're you gay, I saw you kissing a guy, you're gay, and basically I tried convincing him, you know, all these things, like, I, I was being, like, he was being hysterical, he's he like, he was screaming, and like, you can't be gay, you know, you're my son, you can't be gay, you, like, it was like, he was basically trying to convince me that I didn't like guys, and for, for a while, I was like, okay, maybe I don't like it, maybe it's just face, maybe I don't like guys, and it wasn't until the next day, where basically he called me down. It was basically him, my mother, and me. He called me down, and he was he basically apologized. He was like, Dan, I'm sorry for yelling, you know, sorry for feel like screaming all that. The reason why he did all that was because he was afraid of me. He was trying to protect me, because when he was my age, at the time when he was my age, people like that were bullied, picked on, they got into fights constantly, they were beat up, and he didn't want that to happen to me. He said that when he was my age, he saw, you know, a guy in my class was jumped by over 10 different classmates because that he was gay. And I told my dad, you know, I'm not gay, I'm bisexual. And he thought that being, so he thought that if I was gay, you know, I was going to start acting like, like stereotypical, like, like stereotypical gay guy, gay guy. He thought that I was going to start wearing dresses. I was going to start putting on makeup. I was start like, you know, you know, doing drag. He thought I was going to do all this stuff. And I, I basically explained to my parents, like, you know, I may, like, I'm bisexual, I'm not gay, but although I like guys, I'm not really, I'm, like, I'm not really gonna change. It's like, I'm still gonna be a gamer, I'm still gonna be a nerd, I'm still gonna love playing Yu-Gi-Oh!, I'm still gonna, like, do all these things, but, like, that's not really gonna change, like, I just like guys, it's like, nothing else is gonna change about me, I just, I feel differently about guys. And they were really accepting about it, they were really accepting about it, like, they were like, okay, you know, you like guys, you know, it's okay. And even today, my dad's really accepting over it. And it's, it's weird <laughs> that my dad's like, he's a little bit too accepting over it. It's really weird. Because, like, he basically tells me, he basically gave me a, a motto, basically a quote from my dad, where I'm going to pass down to my children and their children. And like, it's one where I hope every parent has. My dad says he doesn't care, you know, if I like guys, girls, he doesn't care what I'm attracted to. As long as it's not illegal, as long as I'm getting good grades, as long as I'm trying my best and being successful in life, he don't care what I like. He said, I can, he said, I can marry a fucking goat. <laughs> he, like, he, he was like, I, you, like, you can marry a goat, you can marry a wall, you can marry the mirror for all I care. As long as it's 100% legal, you love what you love, and you're happy about it, I'm all, I'm, I'm for it. I'm, I'm for it. But, like, he, it's still weird, because, like, he still thinks that, like, every time I bring, like, a, a guy friend, oh, what the fuck? Oh, my phone! Oh, the fuck, my phone! Hold up, guys, hold up. Okay, now back. Okay. <laughs> that, that was actually the pizza guy. The pizza guy's coming in, like, five minutes. Okay, so, okay. So, where I leave off that shit? <laughs> yeah, my dad basically says, no, every time I bring a guy friend over, he always thinks that we're, we're gonna have sex in my room. And that's not, that's why he, like, every time I bring a guy friend over, he always want me to leave my door open. And, like, he was, like, he wants, he wants me to leave my door open so that my dad can go with his room, which is, like, two doors down. And he has his door completely wide open. He wants to hear everything I'm doing here. I'm just like, Dad, we're, we're not, no, trust me, we're not doing that. Like, I've had a lot of guy friends over. I can, I had, like, ten different guy friends come over to my house. I can guarantee you I only did, like, dirty stuff with, like, one of them. The other one... And that wasn't even dirty. We were just, like, you know, fooling around. We were just, like, fondling. That's all we did. Like, all other guy friends, we were sitting here playing the PS4 and playing, the P and playing my PC. That's all we did. But my dad thinks that because I have a guy friend over, we're going to be doing some, like, stuff. I'm, I, I, like, I told my dad, I was like, Dad, I guarantee you the day where I do, like, like have sex, I guarantee you you're not going to know about it. Like, I guarantee you. 
you're not gonna know about. It's gonna be when you're not home, or I'm gonna go over to their house. Like the the day I have sex with a guy or a girl, you're not gonna know about. It. Trust me, you're not gonna know the details. You know, if you're asking about it, I'm gonna deny it. Like I'm not no. That is that is off limits. Uh uh-uh, uh no. no 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 no. Relationships? Okay, I'll tell you if, if I'm dating a guy and you wanna know about it, I can tell you about that. But anything after that, mm-mm, no no. We gotta keep it PG. We gotta keep it PG. <laughs> but yeah, when I. My parents were okay, but the, why I had to talk, tell my school friends about it, when I told, like, my the first person, my first friend I ever told that I was bisexual was a childhood friend, Yuana. Now, I remember telling her over Facebook, I was like, I'm bisexual. I just straight out said, I was like, hey, I'm bisexual. And she was fanatic. She was like, oh my gosh, you're bisexual. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. Like, like, oh my gosh, you have a boyfriend. Oh my gosh, you know, tell me all about it. I was like, okay. I didn't really expect you to be a fanatic, cause, but like she was like a childhood friend of mine. Like I known her since I was a baby, so like, yeah, like okay. The first guy friend I ever told was surprisingly enough was Gary. Was the first person I ever thought discovered about having feelings for was the first person I told I was bisexual, and how I told him, I was like, hey, so what if I was different? And he was like, I really wouldn't care. He was like, what if you know. I was different from you, but, like, you know, I liked everything that you like. He was like, I don't care, you're still a cool dude. He was like, um... As I said, I told him, like, hey, so, if I was bisexual... And then he was... the What he said was, like... I, I was shocked. Like, I really hope that if you tell any, like, any of your friends that, that you, like, you're part of the LGBTQ, that they would have the same response he did. He was like, called it. He was like, I knew. He was like, I don't care, dude. Like, I knew that you were bisexual for a very long time. Like, I called it. He was, I was like, what, really? And he was like, dude, do you really think I didn't notice you staring at my ass in sixth grade? I was like, mm, I, I didn't know. You knew I, I didn't know you knew. He was like, yeah, I knew. But, like, you know, I didn't want to confront you. I want you to discover on your own. I want you to come out on your own terms. I want you to, I want you to tell me. I didn't want to tell you. I wanted you to tell me. I was like, wow. Thanks. And I'm like, cool. And... Surprisingly enough, a lot of the people that I've told, I, I'm pretty much open about you know being bisexual. But back then, when I was telling people, a lot of them gave me really positive responses. Like I even had a friend who told me he was homophobic, and I was afraid to tell him. But when I told him, he was like, "Dude, I don't care." <laughs> he was like, "You're still cool, you know. You're still like you know this geeky, nerdy, you know, weird guy that I love hanging around. Just because you like guys, that's not gonna change." He was like, "You still, you're still cool to hang around." You're still funny as fuck. You know, you're still not a cool gamer. You're like, you know what? I, I don't, like, you know, I don't care. You like what you like. I was like, wow, holy shit. And I think in my school, I actually started a movement in my school because one, then I started coming, I started telling everyone that I was bisexual. I started coming out to my school that I was bisexual and I started basically being open about it. And then the day I was open about it, you know, in the, the next few days, a lot of other people were coming out. Like, when people start realizing that I came out as bisexual, and, you know, nothing bad was happening to me. You know, people were actually being more kind and friendly to me. A lot of people started coming out. Like, this one girl came out as being a lesbian. This other girl came out as also being a lesbian. Those who actually started dating and started kissing and making out in the halls. They started holding hands to class. They started making out in the halls. Another guy came out as gay. One person came out as trans. Like, all these people started coming out. And this the one girl said, she, 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 she thanked me. She was like, you know, I want to come out as a lesbian, but I was afraid that, you know, I might get backlash and seeing you basically coming out and basically saying, I'm bisexual, you know, that's not going to change. And people actually being nice and accepting about it, she came out and found out that it's accepting for her. And personally, like, I think that, like, I think it's a great weight weight lifted, like, telling people that I'm bisexual because keeping it inside for so long... It, was, it felt like a part of me was missing. It really felt like a part of me was there, but I couldn't bring it out. And to this day, I have... I've dated four guys and two girls. And, you know, I'm totally happy with that. Like, I'm... I'm totally happy. Like, I have never felt like... It's hard to explain in words, but I'm just, like, happy that I'm able to be who I am without any kind of persecution, without any, you know, negative backlash. Because I have, in my life, I've never 
faced any kind of homophobia. And I'm thankful every day because of that. Because I know that out there, there are people who are afraid to come out and, you know, who are afraid to come out and tell people who they are because of, you know, what they'll think and what they'll do to them. And I understand what, what that feels like because I've been there. I felt like, I thought that the second I told people that I started liking guys, I thought that people would never talk to me again. I would be a complete loner. And to be honest, I was quite the opposite. <laughs> I mean, I <I've, laughs> like a humongous weight lift and I thought it was gonna be a lot worse than that. And I just want to say thank you, everyone, for the support, you know, for the amazing, you know, just for, just for being awesome. Like, I want to say thank you to everyone out there who was ever kind to me, you know, when I told them that I was bisexual, you know, for those who stuck with me, you know, who, who stayed with my, who stayed being my friends, who stayed being kind to me, thank you, yeah, I... Honestly, if I, I honestly didn't, I wish it wouldn't, like, you know, come out if it wasn't for, like, you guys' support. Like, honestly, if I told one person that I was bisexual and they came at me negatively, I, I honestly wouldn't told anyone else. Like, I'm just thankful, you know. I'm thankful that I'm able to be myself without any kind of persecution or any kind of hate and I'm just thankful <laughs> well I'm, I'm actually really thankful about that so a little channel update um I'm gonna be doing um Guardians of the Galaxy the second episode comes out I think Tuesday and I think I'm gonna stretch that for the whole week cause I don't think any other game comes out until end of June and I think I'm, I might get green I might get I might change this and get green screen because I'm actually planning on getting green screen so I can do some like hard videos with like you know a green screen background so to everyone out there who's facing you know who, who wants to come out and you know who and afraid you know don't be afraid of who you are like who, like who you are is not gonna change like if you like guys if you feel a certain way that's not gonna change regardless like trust me it's not gonna go away anytime soon you know you you are who you are you be who you are meant to be don't don't let anyone else say otherwise and if you tell somebody that you're a certain way and they don't accept it fuck them. like you don't need them in their life like if you tell somebody that you're gay or you're lesbian or you're bisexual or you're trans and they don't accept you and they don't like they don't like you know like you or accept you for who you are then they don't deserve to be in your life. They honestly don't deserve to be anywhere near you, to be anywhere near your life. Because if they're not accepting of who you are, then they're not a real friend. A real friend will accept you no matter what you are, no matter who you are. They will accept you and love you regardless. And it's a shame to let people out there in the world are still feeling the prejudice, still feeling the hate. And to all of you out there who have experienced homophobia, I'm here for you, you know, if you got, if you ever want to talk, if you're, you know, if you ever need a shoulder to lean on, I'm always here, like, if you guys, like, just want to vent or talk, you know, I'm always here, like, leave in the comment section, you know, leave your stories of coming out, and, you know, if you got, if you need a shoulder to lean on, if you need, you know, a friend to talk to, I'm here, like, you know, I'm here, I'll always be here, and I always, I'll, I'll be your friend, like, if you ever need a friend, if you ever feel like, you know, the world's against you, and you have nobody, just remember, I'm here. Have no fear, because Danny is here. Thank you so much for support. Thank you so much for the love and the care that you guys have given me. And, you know, give, give me some round of applause. No, high five for you. High five, right? Three, two, one. Oh, high five. Yes. So, thank you so much for, you know, listening and letting me tell my story. And I hope all of you out there, you know, it's okay to come out. It's okay to be who you are. You're not a freak. You're not a weirdo. You're not, you know, you're not different. You are who you are. And that will never change. You're special. You're you're unique. You're awesome. Like, don't let anybody tell, tell you that you're not awesome. So, from here to there, you guys are incredibly awesome. Stay awesome, everybody. And stay tuned for Guardians of the Galaxy and Crash Bandicoot coming later this month. 
Be safe, everyone. Have a marvelous, spectacular Danny Phil Day. <laughs>